All right, so Aria getting ready to go home soon. She's probably so excited. Well, she has no idea, but we're excited for you guys. So I um, kind of wanted to do a little demo of what I do with her every single day. And so I like to just get out in the driveway. Um, she's dragging a long line right now. It's around my wrist, the end of it. But um, I just like to get out in shape position because this is so fundamental for state of mind stuff. So she has to practice impulse control. She can't go after all these little leaves. She's got to stay focused on my stride. When I move this way, she's got to follow when I turn into her. She's got to slow down. There's so much there that helps a dog's overall state of mind. And I think this is such an undervalued exercise because it's not just going for a walk. It's so much more. So this sets the tone for the walk, but it can also set the tone. Like she's already had a walk today. It can also just set the tone if she's getting kind of crazy and rambunctious or stir crazy. I can go do this in the backyard. I can do this a number of places, but it, I, I've done it outside of the store before we've gone into the store. I've done it in the store once we go into the store. So you kind of look a little silly because you're not really going anywhere. You're just moving in different directions and having the dog pay attention to you, but so foundational for getting a dog to listen, calming their state of mind down, getting them dialed in. So really foundational for everything. So sometimes I'll do this before people come over. When I have a, a younger, more immature dog, I can dial them in this way. And periodically I might practice some downstays. Are you down? And I like this long line. I'm gonna send one home with you guys because I, you know, she's young, she's peppy, she's excited to meet people. I can use this, like, if I'm not paying attention, if I'm talking to a kid and, you know, she decides to get up and I'm not quick on the e-collar or quick to get her to fix it, I can, you know, use this as a safety. But I'm really honing in on this impulse control here of people walking by. Um, and our street can get a little busy. This is the through street. So we've got lots of teenagers in this neighborhood and some of them go down to get this, get swig or there's like a beans and brews down there, Starbucks, um, Smith's. So some teenagers will just like walk down there and then sometimes I'll even see teenagers going to work to go work down there. And so we get a lot of traffic and then there's a park just on the other end of this street. And so we'll get traffic as people walk their dogs over to the park. So really good for working the bus stop is also right here this is this is the house of the bus stop so we get a little bit a little bit of cra you know crazy stimulating things from time to time are you heel are you let's go heel good job good girl i can go right back into that heel and just really work on her just overall demeanor um it's a very structured thing but i like when i'm dealing with a lot of chaos if I'm dealing with a dog that's really excitable, easily, you know, kind of set into the chaos state of mind, I can kind of use this and work on getting her just to calm down, listen to me better, all kinds of the good things. So as we approach the door here, we're going to work on a weight. And I use this here as my little stopper. Weight. Good. We've got other dogs inside too, so we're gonna really work on impulse control. Okay, Arya. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> so really good on the weight. Now, as I'm leaving the house, I'll do it just doing this threshold here. And uh, and she's good. So she's in a calmer state of mind. So she's almost like, is it playtime? Do I seek effect or uh, playtime from them, or do I seek direction from you? And so we're gonna go and just use these dogs as distraction work. So I can use Arya. Let's go. Use them as kind of more of a distraction and work a little bit on this. I don't have a ton of space here, but I can still utilize the space. To work on focus. Good job. Are you down? Down? It's 
harder to down on the surface and it's harder to down on uh, in an excited state of mind. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to put her on place right here. Another dog's leash. I'll just put it down there for a minute. Good job, girl. So I can utilize place or down two separate exercises, but both really functional. Um, down is harder because it's this full position of butt and elbows totally on the ground. Um, whereas place they can, most of the time they'll lay down like this dog is here, but we can work a little bit on, um, like they can, they can get up and get comfortable. So it's not a huge deal. Are you? Let's go. Place. Good job. She's not familiar with this one. This bed is new because it came with a different dog. So I'm just going to help her and guiding her onto the place. If she's sniffing it to get information from it, that's fine. She's on the bed. I'm cool with it. But I can use this in the house um, as long as I'm... <laughs> oh. Okay, don't play at the dollhouse then. So I can use this long line to kind of give me some distance a little bit. But I want to be careful with it because it, it can easily get wrapped up and stuff. And so um, I, I may not always do it if I can't supervise her. I might put her on a shorter leash. Um, I've even seen clients do like what they call tab leashes where they're like a foot long and they just kind of hang on the dog. So it's an easy kind of grab. She's like, I don't know this place bed very well, but it's really good for, for them to do it on, with different beds um, because it kind of adds a lot more depth to the command. So really, really good stuff. Aria, let's go. Let's go. Aria, come. Aria, come. Good girl. Good job. Aria, place. You can kind of get her to get comfortable by getting on and off of it. This is the kind of stuff I'll have you do at home. Aria, come. Because she gets used to, okay, now I'm supposed to get off. Then I get back on. Aria, place. And she can work on being sent from a distance, no matter where the bed is. It's a new bed, so she's like, oh, this is weird. Good job, a client. We picked up um, this little Frenchie, and it's actually his bed, but we're going to use it right now. Good job, girl. Good job. So, yeah, she can work on this. I can add a little bit of a knock at the door. It's really good for all these dogs. There's a couple back there working on place. So, doing so good. Good girl.